Hi, just a quick uh, second channel follow-up on my uh, video on this um, HP uh, 400 dumpster uh, PC and how the uh, touchscreen didn't work. Well, I opened it back up. I found another 8 gig um, stick to put in there. So it should have a 16 gig now. Somebody mentioned that it could work in uh, dual channel mode now if I did that. So yeah, that's more better. Um, now, uh, also, uh, quite a lot of people said that the touchscreen may actually be disabled in the BIOS. And I checked the BIOS and there there's no option in there at all for the touch screen. So I thought I'd uh, have a quick look. Someone also mentioned they might have actually disabled it in the hardware as well. Well, I can't find any like a uh, jumper um, switch or anything to disable it. But um, over here, if you have a look, sorry. Anyway, this is in 4K. This is actually the touch interface here. And if we follow the money with that, that actually goes up to this top board up here. So that makes sense. Um, so it's all in place. So let me try and get this up here. Here you go. Do this as a single take video, won't bother editing it. And there you go, that is the uh, touchscreen board. So is that a ST uh, processor there? But uh, yeah, anyway, all the ribbon cables are in place for it. Everything's hunky-dory. So um, in terms of like, and this is the cable that comes over from the motherboard over there. So in terms of physical connection, it all seems to be there. So I'm erring to on the side of uh, it's a uh, like a physical fault in it, or it's simply a driver issue. I think it's more likely, you know, Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is uh, always um, the best. Uh, so we'll go run with. Um, that it's some sort of uh, driver issue compatibility with Windows 10. Somebody in the comments did mention that, um, yeah, it's like really tricky. You've got to manually install it or something and it doesn't have the signed certificate or whatever it is um, for the, uh, you know, for Windows 10 or whatever. Because this is designed in the age of Windows 8, of course. And uh, yes, the sticker on the back, I noticed that after I... Um, edited the thing is that uh, yeah it said that uh, it was the Windows 7 was installed um, at the factory even though they put the Windows 8 sticker on there's a sticker on there that says Windows 7 was actually uh, installed instead of Windows 8 and that was common back in the day but anyway there you go some high definition uh, look at the main board there of course the uh, main processor there I've got the Wi-Fi uh, board up here and it's got the Bluetooth and the whatnot um and yeah it's a really nice little oh nice well it's not little it's big here's the big visa mounting plate um because it does have a visa mount on the back that thing alone weighs a ton so yeah that just uh sits over here like that so anyway uh no i could not find the uh any physical internal connection nor any sort of jumper to disable it uh, nor any bias setting. So what I might do is now, I won't do it right now because it's a single take, but I'll probably uh, use the uh, camcorder here to see if I can actually see the LEDs uh, flashing over there. I might see if I can actually uh, do that. Although I probably could do that now. Oh, I'd have to, here we go. Put it over there like that. And where's the power cable? Hang on. Hold on, hold on to your hat. Uh, where the heck? There it is. Okay. Plugged in. And let's power this up. And can we actually see the LEDs doing their business? There we go. Yeah, we've got a memory mismatch. Yep. Yeah, and I, it's, yeah, it's showing, showing 16. Uh, F1, I don't have a uh, keyboard hooked up yet, but probably shouldn't need it. I mean, the board should should be continuously spitting that out, should it not? So, can you actually see anything under there? I don't know, might have to turn the lights off. And there we go. Can we see any flishy flashy in there? I ain't seen it. So, 
corner. No, no. Anyway, I'll do a bit more of that uh, after I turn this off and, oh, main lights, there we go. Um, so there you have it, a uh, memory upgrade and doesn't seem to be uh, uh, disabled, the touchscreen doesn't seem to be disabled in any obvious way. Anyway, that's it. If you noticed something I didn't, leave it in the comments. Catch you next time.